but my daughter was concerned about it. She's, my oldest daughter is preoccupied with death right now, and uh, it's, it's brought up some really interesting conversations. A big part of the reason why is because we live on a farm, so we have a lot of animals that just die. Because <laughs> that's what happens when you have chickens, they just die one after the other. Yeah. And uh, so she'll go out there in the morning to get eggs, and she'll be like, Mommy, there's a chicken. It's not very well. It's quite stiff. My wife is British, so my daughter takes up some of that accent. Some of it she doesn't. And I'm like, yeah, bud, that chicken's dead, and we're gonna have to go get it now and bury it and stuff. And so, and her dog died. So it's like it's been this thing where she's probably, I don't know, six or seven things have died probably in in the in the four years that little Evangeline's been alive. So she asks about it a lot. And um, so she goes, Mom, just be honest with me about this. How many animals and pets did you have growing up that didn't die? <laughs> it's like, there's no right answer to this. Mom is 38. They're all dead. They're all dead. Um, and she's like, oh, man. I'm like, but listen, Evangeline. Everything gets really old before it dies, you know, don't worry, buddy. Everything gets really old before it dies. I'm just putting it off, you know She's like, okay, okay, so it's my birthday in June and my friends come over and they're like, damn girl You're getting old and like, Evangeline's like <laughs> But she's really serious and she etern internalizes everything so she didn't say anything about it and I knew it was coming Next day breakfast. She's like mom. Are you getting old? <laughs> I was like, no, bud, that's just something that my jackass friends say to me. And she goes, because you have an old face. <laughs> like, oh, no! And, this is, and brown teeth. I don't. I do not. But that's the kind of shit that your kids will say to you. And then we get out on the road and we're giving Elijah the baby a bath and <clears throat> Evangeline's starting to talk like us. She's like, oh, did somebody wake up? She goes, I love you, Elijah, but you'll die too. <laughs> She's so smart, man. She's just giving me a run for my money. And how... So, uh, I don't know. I just wasn't ready to be a mom. And I'm gay, so I have no excuse. It was completely planned. I thought I was ready, but you can think that you're ready and then just not be ready. And that's okay. And I feel like more people should be honest about that when it happens because you end up with this shame spiral when these babies are born and you don't get this instinct immediately that comes over you. Shame spiral, am I a sociopath? I googled sociopath from the delivery room because I didn't cry when she was born. And all it took was just me talking about it and writing about it to realize there's all different kinds of families, all different kinds of moms, gay moms, straight moms, trans moms, straight dads, trans dads, gay dads. And, uh, you know, that it's okay to love your child when and how it's natural for you. So I wrote this song about that. And this is about my morbid little Evangeline. <laughs> Welcome to the end of being alone inside your mind You're tethered to another and you were it all the time You always knew the melody but you never heard it right She's fair and she is quiet, Lord, she doesn't look like me She made me love the morning, she's a holiday at sea the New York streets are as busy as they always used to be But I am the mother of Evangeline The first things that she took from me were selfishness and sleep She broke a thousand heirlooms I was never meant to keep She filled my life with color, canceled plans and trashed my car but none of that was ever who we are Outside of my windows are the mountains and the 
must know I hold you while you're sleeping And I wish that I could go All my rowdy friends are out Accomplishing their dreams But I am the mother of Evangeline And they still got their morning paper And their coffee and their time And they still enjoy their evenings With the skeptics and the wine Oh, but all the wonders I have seen I will see a second time from inside of the ages through your eyes and you are not some accident or no one thought it through the world that stood against us made us mean to fight for you and when we chose your name we knew that you'd fight the power too you're nothing short of magical and beautiful to me So they can keep their treasure and their ties to the machine. I am the mother of Evangeline. They can keep their treasure and their ties to the machine. I am the mother of.